What's up everyone? Welcome to Sanatorium. <laughs> this is a, a very old clicking point game. Um, it's like... Oh, I don't know. Look at this. I mean, look at this guy. Look what, he, look what he's doing up here. What the hell is this guy doing? Shit, this is so weird already. So, I think we're in some kind of scar... Oh my god, stop talking. We're in some kind of car crash. And then we ended up here. And now everything's just gone to shit. So... I move my little guy like this, I right click. It's a lunatic asylum, dude. So you, you right click, hold right click and just drag and the guy will move that way and things will be revealed through the walls and others not so much and oh my god this is so... I really should get that guy to stop um, smacking his head against the wall but I'm going to check out a few things. But I'm going to go back in here see if there's anything I can pick up. So uh, people wanted... Uh, Yep. People wanted the whole chest breach to do this, but uh, so far he, he's not really wanted to do this. And they wanted him to do this because he played Harvester, um, but I don't think he's going to play so I don't think he really wants to. So we're going to play this for a while, see what people think, um, and we'll just see. Oh my god, it's going to be one of those things where we're moving statues all over the place just to get out. You stop hold, stop smacking your head against the wall for Christ's sake. I should really stop him. I mean what's going on with you? Diagnosis crazy. Crazy. Diagnosis. Yeah. Can we not talk to him? Yeah. Oh she's screaming about something. There's someone down there pretending to be a chicken. At least this one looks friendly enough to talk to. Seriously? You're really gonna chance that? Can I ask you something? Can I ask your name? The, the, the Don. I haven't heard you before. Who, who are you? I am the mummy. I, knew, by the looks I of can't it. remember my name. I was hoping you might know me. Stupid voice. Are you a sp uh, spirit? Spirit, spirit out. Spirit, where? Do, uh. I'm no spirit. Just a man like you. Like me. The, the, then you. I can hear the voices too, can't you? I'm not sure. These voices, spirits, ghosts, whatever they are, who are they? The fallen warriors. They demand <coughs> vengeance. Oh god. All I can really hear is that nut job smacking his head against the wall. What is it they're demanding vengeance for? T -t -t temples. The fallen temples. C -c can't you hear them? C -c Crying out? Is is this the temple? Is this place one of the fallen temples? No, 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 no. If you don't know, know, know that, you're not the w w w warrior I thought you to be. How dare you. I am a warrior, you motherfucker. Why? Why are you in this place? What brought you here? Isn't it obvious? I did, did, did ding from him. Him? I don't... Sh sh shut up, or he'll... Hear you, stupid voice. You call me, you motherfucker. Where? Something here is familiar. I keep thinking I'll get it. Where are we? I know something that you don't. This, this is the, the village, st stupid voice. What village? Doesn't this place have a real name? Of, of course. It's the village. The b b best place for people like you and me. The doctor here has resource. Resource. Re He's very good. Dr. Morgan. He sa sa says I'm lucky to be here. And so you must be lucky too. Good for you. Well done. Dr. Morgan gives you lollipops. What happened to set the alarm off? It's c c calling us to war. The village is under attack. Okay, we know we're under attack. Now, how do I turn that alarm off? What? What? Why would you want to? Because it's annoying and it's right in my ear. Talk to Morgan. How can I find this Dr. Morgan? I think I need to talk to him. He'll find you. The b b best witch doctor in the land he is. He'll save us. Oh, one of those. Can you tell me where anyone is? Dr. Morgan? Anyone? They f fled. Coward. No, 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 not, not great warriors like us. 
Oh, but not Morgan. He'll find us. The one of them doctors, uh, the I'll find you kind of doctor. The kind you don't really want coming round or sticking their finger places. Is, can't you go any faster? Can I, do I really have to just keep dragging? Can I not have like an automatic system? Because imagine that could get quite tiresome. Oh shit! Angel woman glowing. It's even more extraordinary when it's lit up. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Down the steps we go. Oh, look at this crazy. Are they all ginger? He seems familiar, but I can't oh. quite remember. Yeah, he's, he's familiar. But I can. Hello, but he's ginger I don't too. I know you. What's your name? Lenny. I'm Lenny. Lenny's my name. I'm Lenny. Well then, you must be Lenny. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know my name, would you? No. Nope. Mom says not to talk to strangers. Okay, where? Lenny, do you know where we are? This is my room. My bedroom. Do you like it? Bedroom? No, I mean the building. What's this place we're in? What's it called? My house. Is our guy got a ponytail? Did they put his ponytail in bandages? The hell, man. This isn't your house. Yes, it is. You don't look rich enough for this. Why are you here, Lenny? Can you tell me that? I was very... Very bad. Bad? I can't believe that of you, Lenny. What did you do? I, uh... I ate some pumpkin pie. <gasps> Disgusting. You should be locked up here for life. Pie. Pie? How could you get in trouble for that? It came from the patch. A pumpkin patch? Where is it? Where... <laughs> it came from the sacred patch of Kalamadu. Everyone, Lenny. Yeah, you should be. You should listen. Mother made them all go away. Away? I must not have heard her. Lenny, where did she tell them to go to? To school. Yeah, she made them go to school. Since I didn't hear your mom, can you tell me how to get to school? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doesn't sound like take a left to me. Okay, I'll say goodbye to you, Lenny. Oh, here's another crack. Oh. Here's another crack pot for us. What's he doing huddled in a corner? Trying to hide? We have justice settings here. Settings. Audio options. Sound effects, ambient voice. It's numeric. There we go. Yeah, but who's gonna clean it up after? Yeah, but who's gonna clean it up after? There we go. Return to game. Ooh. Excuse me, do I know you? Your name is... Uh... Martin. Martin, I said. Uh... Do you know... Do you know who... Can you tell me my name? How the hell should I know? How can you stand all of them buzzing? Constantly buzzing. Oh, the bees, the bees. Where? What is this place? A nut house, you fool. A nut house? Charming. It looks so old. What do you mean? Nut house. Rooney bin. Funny farm. What don't you understand? Well, there's a lot I don't understand. For starters, why are you here? Damn bugs are driving me crazy. But I'll find their high one day. <laughs> Doc Morgan's a great help. We'll squash them. That'll be that. Yeah, this place does look a little bit antiquated for a loony bin, but you know. I'm assuming that it's going to be the tip of the weirdo iceberg. What bugs, Martin? I don't see any. Maybe they're not real. Are you serious? These blood-sucking insects are bent on destroying the world. 
Oh. I mean, think about it. How are some bugs going to destroy the world? Well, look at them. These aren't normal bugs. These is robots. Little eeny teeny robots. <laughs> them robots, I'll tell you. But Dr. Morgan. There's a doctor around here? Doc Morgan? Exterminator. That's what he is. The best there is. He kills bugs. Dead. But they always come back. <laughs> always come back. Alright, everyone. Where is everyone? Cows. All of them. When the alarm went off, they left us behind. Boom. Oh no, but these bugs. Goodbye. Crazy. Crazy. Roll this guy. <laughs> what? My god. My god, that's what happens when you try and pretend to be an aeroplane with your pants down. Shit. Shouldn't get too close to the edge. That must be the generator. They said it could explode any minute. How do we get out of here? Shit. Looks like some sort of control panel. Too far away. Yeah. Hmm. Someone Come needs here, to fix I'll that. Okay, so I've got a towel. What Come can you... Here, little buggy. Yeah. A power cable. You I think better you not touch it with my back. hands. I don't think you're actually going to die from touching that power cable. I'm sure it's surrounded with like a kind of rubber plastic, a rubber plastic thing. Looks like some sort of control tower. Control tower. Alright, so... I'll find it. I, I can't ah, I think I know what to do. Oh, don't go down the stairs. I'll back up. Can I keep walking this, the walk that would then round then? Oh, yep, like this, yep. Right, yeah, see, there we got it. I'm thinking we can use the towel to zip line. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Woo, baby! Did we get the towel back? Ah, now we're getting somewhere. We are to back to where we came from? Like some yeah, go in. Go. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, chicken lady. Praise the chicken lady. Oh, pretend she's a chicken. Ah, oh, smash it. The drawers are held shut by an what the hell was that lock. just scurrying there? There was something that just scurried about you. Hmm, what's wrong with this thing? That's what I see all the time about mine. Hmm. The cables need to be plugged in before I can use the VCR. You plug it in. Oh, it's gonna be one of those things. You got basic TV connections. You know your basic TV connections, you that's, or old it's connections even. Your delusions almost took the life from you this time. My face, it's in bandages. Where am I? Who am I? You must have thought you had somewhere important to go when you stole that car. Oh, no. You did a lot of damage to that face of yours in the crash. I'm sorry, I, I can't believe. No apologies. All we need is your best effort. And before you can give us that, you need some rest. Bruce, help our lad back to his room. Don't worry, son. We'll talk again soon. Ooh, Dr. Morgan, what's going on? Oh, Whoa, sh That short circuit opened the safe. Yeah. That's some strange kind of key. It's a huge key. That's a huge key. An ancient key. That won't solve anything. All right, okay. Could be answers in here. Memo. A memo regarding the tower bridge. 
Due to recent problems with the generator, all employees are asked to keep the tower bridge extended at all times. It will be extremely difficult to extend the bridge from the outer ring should the power go out. Oh dear. Key! A letter for Dr. Morgan from a Professor Cunningham. Something about an ancient key found here in the asylum. Did I just find it? The key you describe must be very old indeed. I have found documentation that may link it to Aztec culture. Though we'd have to examine the object carefully here at the Institute in order to confirm this theory. Escape. Memo from the Chief of Security. It gives some details about a patient escape. Number 227. The memo says that the West Wing is inadequately contained, and all the patients have been transferred to the tower cells. Here! But where are they now? Oh my god. Let's investigate instead of escaping. Okay, so... That VCR won't work anymore. It's fried. Okay. Just checking, big guy. Um, I suppose there's some other door we've got to find as well. Ooh, big one. Come here, I'll spot you. Come yeah. here. Ooh, come here. Ooh, come here. Oh, you know what? There's a locking mechanism in the base. But what for? An yeah, <laughs> we're done great. Bandage man. Oh, I feel the power. Give it to me. <clears throat> uh, it is no, it is so dark. Oh, my home, once bright tower, what has become of you? You, you're alive. Am I going mad? Listen, yes, that's why you're here. Hear the cries of the children, the innocent are dying, and you only think of yourself. Can you not see the light of heaven has dimmed? Easy, what, lady. What can I do? Seek the truth. What big crap is that? All right, sorry, folks. Uh, the game actually crashed there. I think we got to the end of that cutscene and it crashed. But now we're here. Now we're here. The the statues brought us to somewhere. I'm assuming this is the village. And there's some little child that is annoying me right now. It looks like the statue from the tower. Ooh. What the hell is this? What the hell are you doing rolling a can? I know small child. Can I not talk to the small child? No, the small child? Oh shit. Hey you big dope! Get out of our life! Come on, Billy! Let's wrong with his face! Her face! What the hell's wrong with him? Holy oh, crap, man. Great, a bratty kid with two mouths. Her hands and face are deformed. Jesus. Holy shit. Uh, hey, freak, so, freak show. Who are you, you young lady? Up My name is Jesse Hatcher. And I'll be you at every game. Shit. What? I, uh, I can't what remember was that? What was that cutscene? Mother won't let me talk <coughs> to strangers, so you better leave. I don't know, old games are kinda weird. The cutscenes. Where's your mother? I'd really like to speak to her. Mother is everywhere. Oh, it's one of those. You old punk. Hey, um kid. Uh, what's your name? My name's Billy. What's yours? My name is Muffled Voice, and a woman walking down the hallway. Ooh, comics. I... 
I can't remember my name. Well, mother won't let me talk to strangers, so you better leave. All right, piss off. Where's your mother? I'd really like to speak to her. Mother only talks to us kids. Not a big poop head like you. Bitch, what you fucking call me? Oh, you're the fucking poop head. Cheater. This place you're must hold some Jesse. clues. Alright, let's check this place out a little bit. If he could move a little bit faster, that would be awesome. Oh god, here's another kid. I wonder what's wrong with this one. This girl has two wooden legs. Oh dear god. Who are you? Megan Johns, but you can call me Pegleg. That's what all the kids call me. Freak show. That's mean. I would never call you that. Thanks, mister. I mean, yeah. You're nice. What's your name? Titty McVitie. Again with this cutscene. Grimwall, is that uh, his name Grimwall? Max? Max Grimwall. Sarah would like to see you now. Ooh, there is your girlfriend. Ooh. My name is Max. That's a nice name. Hey, now you aren't a stranger. Where are we? What town is this? This is home, silly. Someone give me a straight answer for God's sake. I realize this is your home, Meg, but where am I? I mean, doesn't this town have a name? Oh, didn't you see the sign? Jesus. Adults. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are, where are all of the adults? Sorry, Max, but Mother won't let us talk about that. Why is that? Mother says that all adults except her are bad, and we shouldn't talk to them. So they're all in the loony bin, okay. Adults are bad? I don't understand. Why does your mother distrust all other adults so much? She says that pride leads to their destruction, or something like that. What does that mean? I... oh, I probably said too much already. To that man, skip rope. You really like to skip rope, huh, Meg? I'm sorry, but doesn't that hurt with your false legs? What? Oh, my legs? <laughs> it's okay. That don't hurt much. Besides, Mother says that once I'm finished growing, I'll forget all about my legs. These kids seem happy anyway. Just a wet, just a wind. These kids 